relationship between sociology and anthropology. Sociology and anthropology are said to be twin sisters. Anthropology is derived from two Greek words, anthropos, which means man, and logos, which means study. Thus, anthropology is the study of man, that is, the study of the development of the human race. How human being developed is the subject matter of anthropology. It is divided into physical anthropology and cultural anthropology. Cultural anthropology in turn has been subdivided, namely social anthropology, archaeology, ethnography, ethnology and linguistics. Anthropology studies all varieties of people throughout the world. In the entire world is the steady objective of anthropology. All varieties of people throughout the world, beginning with the earliest human being who lived over a million years ago and study the development of man until the present day. Means the main scope of anthropology is to study the evolution of human life. That is, from the very beginning, a million and million years ago, how the human being came, what was his features and everything, and till the present day human being. Hence, social anthropology is closely related to sociology. Social anthropology is related to sociology. Anthropology, in its study of the various racial traits of man and his physical characteristic during his various stages of development, throw ample light upon the human factor of social setup and its evolution means the evolution of mankind is the subject matter of anthropology. Social anthropology determines the theories of social mobility and sequence and these principles are sociological principles. The branch of anthropology that is social anthropology it deals with the social mobility and sequence and these are the principles of both sociology and social anthropology. The social relation between sociology and anthropology are close due to greater similarity in a way of work. Both these uh, social sciences, the way of work is similar, therefore there is similarity between them. While sociology studies the group life of the individual living in a complex society, anthropology is the study of man from his earliest times to the present. So sociology studies individuals living in group life and anthropology studies a man from its uh, beginning from the earliest time to the present. Anthropology mainly focuses its attention on tribal societies and cultures. Sociology has to depend upon anthropology to understand uh, the present day social phenomena from our knowledge of the past. So what anthropology tells about the past, uh, all those things are taken into consideration while uh, studying sociology. Sociology depends very much on the, on the material supplied by anthropology. Similarly, some of the conclusions drawn by sociologists have also helped the anthropologists. 
So the differences between sociology and anthropology. Number one, anthropology studies cultures which are small and static. Small cultures and which are static. There is no change in them. While sociology studies civilization which are vast and dynamic. And sociology studies civilizations. And they are dynamic in nature. Second, anthropology is the study of man and its culture as they developed in times long past. In anthropology, the man and its culture are studied and the, the entire development from the very beginning is studied, while sociology studies the same phenomena as they are at present. And sociology studies everything but at the present time. Anthropologists are more neutral and do not offer suggestions, whereas sociologists suggest means for improvement along with their studies. Study of anthropology is more general, while study of sociology is more particular. Anthropology is primarily concerned with man, while sociology is concerned with social institutions. Now the last one in this chapter is the relationship between a sociology and psychology. Psychology is the science of human behavior. It deals with the mental processes of the individual his motivations and his memory. And everything related to mind is the study done in psychology. His nervous system, his motivations and his memory. His nervous system, his motivation, responses, his hopes, fears and the order and disorder of his mind Social psychology is a branch of psychology. It studies the influence of group life on the mental development of individuals. So, in one of the branch of psychology is social psychology. In social psychology, the group life is a studies and the mental development of individuals and the effect of individual mind on group and the development of the mental life of the groups within themselves and in their relation to another are the subject matter of social psychology. It is interested in the process of socialization. Social psychology is an interdisciplinary branch of knowledge between psychology and sociology. So social psychology is a a mixture of psychology and sociology. They are interrelated to each other. So, social psychology takes the help of sociology in the understanding of human behavior and nature. The interaction of individuals with others can only be understood within the social life and cultural matrix in which it occurs. Sociology draws help from social psychology for the contribution of psychological factors for transforming social structure. So what are the factors that are that are affecting the transformation in the social structure is, is studied in sociology by the help of social psychology. Similarly, the concept self and personality which are central to social psychology could be understood better by reference to contracts with others and the pattern of feelings about the world around a man. Thus, the contribution of sociology to a social psychology is significant. There are certain areas like public opinion, mob behavior, rights, lynching, 
political and religious movements etc which are studied both by sociology and social psychology the differences between sociology and psychology are number 1 psychology deals with individual as a unit while sociology deals with group as a unit in psychology a single individual is studied and in sociology a group is studied number 2 psychology analyzes the mental process whereas sociology and anal- sociology analyzes the social process in psychology mental processes are analyzed and in sociology sociology the you know, social processes are analyzed third psychology studies individual behavior from psychological point of view but sociology studies individual behavior from society's point of view